Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to program your GE Universal Remote to any TV brand you want. Today I have here with me an LG TV, but this will work for any TV brand. Samsung, LG, Vizio, Hisense, Insignia, TCL, pretty much any uh, TV brand. So the first thing that you need to do is find your code list. So grab your sheet of paper that came with it. If you don't have it, or maybe you lost it, that's okay, we'll have a link to a PDF file so that you can um, check it out. So first, we're gonna go ahead and um, try to find that code. So I am going to do that on my phone and we're gonna look for it together. All right, so here's the code list. And the code list and I'm gonna go ahead and scroll over and look for LG. All right, so there we see the LG codes. 6021001 and there's five other codes. Once you have your list of codes, go ahead and jot them down. They are in order of most popular codes and most common codes, so I would start with the first one. So I know my first one is 6021. All right, so after that, if you do, do not see these codes or your code list looks different, that's okay. We're gonna show you a different way on how to find your codes. So. There is also another link to the manufacturing's website where you can go ahead and find your code and you're gonna do that by actually going to your remote and flipping off the back of the case that hides the batteries. And you're gonna look on the back of um, your remote case and you should see something like CL5 or CL4. Um, and you're gonna need that for where we're gonna go next. All right, so if you're still having trouble finding your code, you're gonna take the model of remote that you have um, that you found on the back of your remote. So mine is CL5, yours may be CL3 or CL4. Um, and when you go to the website, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna click on one of the buttons that um, correlates with your code. So I have CL5, you may have a different one. I'm gonna click look up CL5. Device category is gonna be TV. And then brand name, since I have an LG TV, I'm gonna select LG. And now you have your device codes for your LG TV. All right, so once you have that, we are ready to get started and start putting the codes into our TV to program it um, from remote to TV. All right, so just telling you a little bit about the remote, um, there are four buttons at the top that you can program to different devices. Um, so some examples are TV, cable, DVD, or aux. Um, what's interesting is that you don't exactly have to program your TV to the TV button. You could program your TV to the cable button if you wanted to. All right, so first thing that we're gonna do is you're gonna take your remote and you're gonna hold setup until the red light turns on. So your power button is gonna turn red and then after that, you're gonna select the button that you want to program. So I'm gonna select TV. And then after that, you're gonna go ahead and enter in your code. So I'm gonna type in 6021. After that, the red light will turn off. All right, after the code is entered, you're gonna go ahead and test the remote to make sure that everything is functioning as it should. Now, if you don't test it um, fully, then you may run into issues later. For example, I thought that I was good after checking the volume buttons, but then later I found out that the mute button wasn't synced to the right button. So you wanna make sure and test it thoroughly. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it. I'm gonna hit up, uh, volume up, volume down, volume looks good. I'm gonna click on the mute button, mute's good. Next, I'm gonna hit input. All right, looks like input works. So all these things, all these buttons are working, which means that this code is good to go. All right guys, so if the code doesn't work and you're not getting the functions that you want out of the remote, just repeat the steps again. Again, hold setup, then hit TV, and then enter in the next four digit code on your list. And hopefully that should help you guys get the right settings. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See ya.